All right, it's time for a little update video. <laughs> yeah, I know I said I was hopefully going to be doing a bunch of videos over the past while, but I didn't really get around to doing any of them. So, uh, yeah, it's been kind of a busy couple months for me as far as like school goes and things. So, uh, I don't really have a great way to start this one off, so I'll just randomly talk. Um, uh, just to get things started, I did sell my paramilitary 2 and bought the 590, Benjamin 590, and the L 8 which together cost less than my paramilitary 2 because it had the flight medium scales on it. Um, I did that, you know, first off so that I'd have a little extra spending money, but also so that I would you know, have this knife, which is more ambidextrous, and I'm left-handed, so that's kind of important to me. Um, the parallel military tree is pretty good for that, but this one's way better. Uh, and I, I realized that with the axis lock on the Griptilian, which I got a couple months ago when I bought some new boots, um, and REI was having like a super sale, so they're like, oh, no, no, here's a huge discount, and the discount was enough for me to like get the Griptilian without spending any more money than I originally expected, so I got that. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll talk about the LFM a little bit, which is this, the long finger mod for the Benchmade 51. Um, this is a flytanium blade that's not mine. I do the handles, and they extend to, I, I think it's six inches, yeah. <laughs> Man, it's been a while since I've really been working on this, but um, it extends the handles to six inches, and then adds a three-layered spacer in the back, which you can choose to have the layers be either copper or G10 for different weights. Um, and I like it a lot when it has the flytanium blade on it. Um, the thing about the Benchman 51 is that it doesn't have any bushings, so with handles this long, the handle play when you don't have bushings is super, super noticeable, and it bothered me a lot. But once I put the flytanium blade on there, this thing is amazing. Like, it's possibly my favorite thing to flip along with the replicant, which I have here. And on the replicant, um, you may have seen me making some sales posts recently about the scales. Um, I've got a ton of scales left, actually. This isn't even all of them. This is just quite a few of them. I've got a ton of scales left. And I just don't know really what to do with them, because I could sell them, but... The thing is, they didn't turn out very well. They were super rushed. I tried to do a full set of scales over my short spring break, and so I rushed them a lot, and they just turned, didn't turn out very well. So initially, I was selling them at half the price I wanted to originally sell them for because they're imperfect, and now I'm just like, uh, I just feel like they're not even worth that. So I don't know. I might do some giveaways or whatever, but the thing is, they all take like more work to adjust to even fit on these. I have to go through and like fix the holes by hand because I don't have any power tools or anything. Anyways, as far as like functionality, when they're on there, uh, from my experiences, they work perfectly well and I really like them, but I know um, a few changes I'm gonna be making to the design for the next set um, along with, you know, making them better. Uh, so that's kind of the story with those. Um, looking at, yeah, so I've got another project which I'm hoping to do by the end of the summer. Um, it's kind of similar to the LFM, but I don't really want to go too into that because it's like a secret right now. Oh boy. I don't have like a code name for that or anything. Uh, like I did for the LFM and other things, but it doesn't really matter. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I've got quite the schedule coming up for the next year. Um, I'll be getting into summer break here in about a month, and then hopefully I'll have the same job I did last time, which means I'll be working eight and a half hours a day, five days a week, so I won't have a ton of time 
to, you know, work on my own stuff, but I, I will have time to do that on the weekends and afternoons and stuff. So I might be, or I'll, I'll almost certainly be doing more, like, full customs, like, this is the, one of the five fingers I did last summer. I mean, there's a ton of room for improvement on these, but I love them a lot, and they look awesome, and they flip pretty well. Uh, as far as the summer goes, though, like, I do need to, to focus on just, well, I mean, not really focus on doing my job, because... I'm going to be doing my job while I'm at work, obviously, and that's how I'll earn money. But that's pretty important, because I have to pay for housing next year, which right now we're looking for housing. Every time we find a house and we're about to commit to it, or like we send in our stuff, they're like, oh, sorry, I just sold. Um, so we're looking to lease a house for a year, me and a couple of friends. So that's fun. Um, no, it's not. It's really kind of like horrible, but... You gotta do it, otherwise, whatever. It just, it just has to be done. You gotta live somewhere. Um, I've got a couple of interesting graphic design things that should be coming out in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, I don't want to go into too much on those, but I'll be really excited to present them once they're done. Uh, those are gonna be awesome. Uh, as far as like logos and shirts and some other stuff. I'm doing this for various different people here. I've got a couple of different projects going on with that. Um, I don't know. I might as well show you guys. I did some skateboard graphic designs, although these aren't for like sale or anything. These are just to amuse myself. But there was this one that I did. It's kind of getting beat up now. Let's see, I'm going to stand up actually. Get a better view of this. So, got this one. And I did one for that's a squid. And I'm working on one right now that's a, like a hare or a jackrabbit getting eaten by a snake, but also the jackrabbit is a snake. So that's kind of neat. I don't know. So most of these are just like one-off sketches I do on the board and then finish them up with literally Sharpies. Um, and they look pretty nice and they work well enough, so that's amusing me. Uh, as far as like projects I might do this summer, like smaller projects, Somebody mentioned they wanted me to do like a, a cleaver song, and I was saying I was thinking, you know, I don't want to just rip on roosterfish, so I thought, you know, maybe I could do like a small one like that. That'd be kind of amusing to me, uh, kind of like the Nathan Dewey uh, Gremlin, which is a really small ballad song. I I like those a lot. I also like. Uh, I don't know, Dewey does kind of this thing where he seems to be able to make ballad songs out of just like scrap material he has around, and I might do something like that, because that's always interesting to me. I do have a lot of O1 tool steel left that is in a really strange, like, thickness. So, um, I originally got it to do Benchmade 51 blades, which are a tenth of an inch thick, but I couldn't find any O1 that was a tenth of an inch thick, so I ordered a tiny bit thicker, and it's just this weird, weird uh, thickness of steel, so I might do something with that, who knows. Um, then, I mean, I could do more of these five fingers, although I do want to do different designs and also use higher quality materials, but then you get into, like, money. How do I... <laughs> Like, I have no money, essentially, after I buy this, uh, sign this first lease, because you got to pay for the first month and the last month and the deposit, usually, which is, it adds up to quite a bit. So I don't know if I'll be able to buy materials right away. I'll we'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, it's kind of where the standing is now. Um, as far as other things, next year I may or may not have a garage, which means I would be able to do, you know, quite a bit. If I did, 
while I'm in school, which would be awesome. That said, I'm going to have a super busy uh, schedule next year. Actually, I'm just going to have a super busy school, ske school schedule from now on. Um, I've got it down here. So I'm taking three industrial design classes next quarter. That Those are uh, engineering courses in industrial design. And then Math 124, which is calculus. Uh, and s seriously, my... My schedule, I'll just show it to you here. Uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, it starts at 9 a.m. and goes to 5. And it's only got like one hour break in the middle, so I'll be using that for lunch. And then Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, it starts at 1, which is pretty nice, actually. And then it ends at 5. It's got a one-hour break there. But it's a, it's a crazy schedule, especially considering, like, I know the homework's going to be crazy in that. I've heard from at least uh, Industrial Design 120 that you get like three hours of homework a night. Easy. Um, not easy to do, but you easily get three hours of homework a night every single day. Um, and then I'm sure Math 124 won't be too easy either. And Industrial Design 310 and 210 I'm sure are going to be you know, fairly work-heavy classes as well. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to that quarter. Right now I'm in just general university requirements. It's driving me nuts. I hate them. I just want to do like real work. But that's kind of what I'm looking at next year. So I don't know if I'd be able to do much during fall quarter other than school, really. Um, and I know my winter quarter is going to be similarly packed. But I do have a project that I want to do called the LCT, which, um, which stands for Low Cost Trainer. And I hope I can do that at some point. It's going to cost a few hundred dollars to get started prototyping with that. And then obviously it'll cost more to, you know, produce a fair amount of them. But if I do end up doing the project LCT, it should be, you know, sometime during the school year next year. Uh, there's a ton of projects I want to do this summer. And I don't know if I'll have time for them, but I'll you know, update more on that as I go, seeing how things turn out, what I can and can't afford to do as far as money and time, but yeah, there's a lot going on. I think that that pretty much covers everything. Um, I guess, yeah, uh, along with the, the long finger mod, I've got a few actually sets ready to go and they've been ready to go for a long time I haven't sent them out um, there are three sets that are ready to go and then I've got my one for myself I know where two of the sets are going I don't know where the third set's going um, and I haven't sent them out for no reason really at all I just haven't uh, it feels kind of weird to release something because I know that this is the only time I'll be making the LFM in this specific way. I've got a lot of tweaks that I want to do to it to make it better. Um, so it's weird for me to like send them out when I know that they could be way better and I'm going to be changing the next set quite a bit to make it better. So that's weird, but it's just like the way it is. Um, replicant, that's some stuff that'll be going down with that this summer. I've actually got a lot of plans. Or replicant mods that you can expect to see this summer, hopefully. Um, yeah, I've even got a, a, a possible mod for uh, Balios that would be kind of funny. It's mostly going to be a gimmick mod if I get around to doing it, so who knows? I might do it. Uh, I might as well mention if anybody's interested in buying the Kershaw Skyline in Jade. I'd be willing to sell that, just make me an offer. I'll even like sharpen it all the way up. Um, even like the Griptilian. I don't really use this now that I've got the 590 and it's pretty much brand new condition. Plus I could sharpen it obviously. Um, if you guys want to buy either of those, then let me know. I'm totally open to selling them. Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think I should do with these like basically throw away sets of scales. I literally might just throw them away. Uh, it does cost money to ship. <laughs> and, you know, the rest of them are just, like... I mean, they're good enough to where 
I prefer to use them over the stock scales just because of the way they look, but they're also, they don't fit perfectly and that drives me nuts. So, I don't know. That's where that stands. Uh, yeah. That's about all I have to say for this video. Peace.